though, Phil G's, and welcome back to Lou G's Fear Review. We are back at it again, exploring the 53 man roster for the NFC North uh, defense and how it compares to the Detroit Lions. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, for the defense, I'm going to do this a little bit different because we know what we have on the defensive line. We know what the Vikings have, what the Bears have, different and so forth. So I want to start from the top of the defense, i.e. the safeties and the DBs, and work my way down. As you can see, the Bears are going to come out there with Ha Ha Clayton Dix and A.D. Jackson. We know A.D. Jackson is a pretty solid player. We know Ha Ha Clayton Dix is sometime, and you know, sometimes he feels like he want to play, sometimes he don't. Um... When I look at the Bears' safety, Eddie Jackson is good. I do like our Quandre Diggs. I do like Tracy Walker. Um, but as you can see, they capped a total of five safeties on the Bears. We capped a total of five safeties on the Lions. Um, they, I know you see Miles Killerbrew uh, there, but he's primarily going to be linebacker. So I think that's just the way they represent it to show that, hey, he's got that versatility. Um, but then you go down to the Packers and Adrian Amos is a very good player. Daryl Savage is a rookie, so you don't know what you're going to get from him. Uh, Harrison Smith and Anthony Harris are very good safeties. And, and to be honest with you, we, we stack up a little bit different, but what it tells me, excuse me, what it tells me is what us carrying so many DBs is, is because we do use a lot of those guys up in the box. We use a lot of those guys to cover tight ends. So, you know, we're going to see people getting uh, opportunities uh, that many people uh, may not have recognized um, for our team. But nonetheless, just looking at this, I feel pretty confident about our safety. I feel like we're right in line with everybody else. I mean, yes, has Harrison, Harrison Smith been an outstanding star? Yes. Um, has Adrian Amos been an outstanding star? Mm, it's questionable. Eddie Jackson? Yes. You know, Quandre Diggs? Depends on who you ask. So for me, I feel like we're right in the, in the pack when it comes to safety. Now we get off into the cornerbacks, and this is where a lot of the teams are going to make their money because this is where you're going to shut a lot of the pads down. Now, it's very interesting to see how this is set up. I mean, we may arguably have the best cornerback in Darius Slay. Um, Xavier Rose is no slouch, though. Let's, make, let's not make no mistakes here, people. He is no slouch. Um... But when we look at the comparisons, a lot of teams are carrying a lot of cornerbacks. Now, I'm seeing names up here that's not appearing, and I don't know why. I noticed that on here I don't see uh, Coleman name, uh, and they put the versions up there. I'm pretty sure Coleman is still on his team, so I don't know why this is missing it. Um, but... Um, we still got Justin Coleman to add to this mix. And so our starting three would be Slay, uh, Melvin, Rash uh, Rashawn Melvin, and Coleman. And you look at the Packers starting three, and it's going to probably be uh, King, Alexander, and probably Williams. Now, I see that they still got Josh Jackson on here, but uh, ain't no telling Nonetheless, I think that we stack up pretty well in the division in terms of having cornerbacks. Like, it's not like we got the worst cornerback group, though, which is surprising to me because, you know, having Justin Coleman be the slot corner versus whoever the Packers is going to taught out there, I feel pretty good about that. You know, like, seriously. Um, we know that, you know, this is going to be predicated on the offensive line, but I feel like we got a pretty solid cornerback core. When you would have thought it would have been weak compared to the division. So, for the most part, take a look. Like I said, I noticed there's some notable names missing. Like I said, I don't see Justin Coleman. I don't know why it's not coming up. Um, what's going on with that? But eh, sometimes people just don't have time to update their system. But this is where we are at. And I feel pretty confident about what I'm seeing. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the outside linebackers. And as you can see, you don't see any Lions up there. I don't know why. Some of these websites that I go to, they do a great job at, at, at putting everything together. But then sometimes they be missing a little information. So you have to fill in the blanks. Now, if you're not sure who our outside linebackers are, it is uh, uh, Devon Kennard and Christian Jones. Now, if you're wondering who's backing them up, uh, backing up Kennard is Jalen Reeves Maven, okay? And if you're wondering who is backing up Christian Jones, 
is Steven Lo Long Steve Loga Longa. I I'm always botching names, people. Sorry. It is what it is. However, how does that stack up to the rest of the division? Uh, for me, um, I mean, Leonard Florida, Khalil Mack, is, that's pretty damn good. I mean, it is what it is. It's pretty good. Um, Preston Smith and Zedarius Smith. That don't scare me because <laughs> because I think Khalil Mack can get to the quarterback fast. I think Leonard For Floyd can get there fast. Um, but I'm not worried about Preston Smith, and I'm not worried about Zendarius Smith. I'll say it again. I think our tight ends is going to expose them. So they're going to spend a lot of time trying to get pressure, but eventually they're going to be forced into covering. Um, in terms of the Minnesota Vikings, you have Anthony Barr and Ben Gideon. And I got to be honest, those those guys don't really uh, necessarily scare me um, or anything like that. I think Anthony Barr is a solid uh, linebacker. And I think Ben Gideon, uh, Gideon is a, a pretty decent linebacker. Um, but I, our outside linebackers, you know, I thought they wouldn't be uh, good, but they do get the job done. So that, that in and of itself is good, but I'm not really feeling them in terms of stacking up like that. But I know our guys can get the job done, especially with who's in front of us. In the case of the Packers, they're trying to bring pressure from Preston Smith and Zadarius Smith. And I think that's going to be a huge mistake on their part. Now we're going to look at inside linebackers. And I got to be honest, and I got to tell you, I'm I'm surprised at what I'm looking at. Um, I think the world of Roquan Smith. You, <laughs> you don't even understand. I really wanted the Lions to go and get this guy. Um, and I think the world of him. Not a huge fan of Danny Trevathan. I know he's okay, but I'm just not a huge fan of him particularly. But... Jelani Javai and Jared Davis, I, I like their game. Um, and if I'm comparing them to uh, Blake Martinez and Orion Burks or whatever, I feel better about my group. I, I just do. Um, particularly because I think they're planning better in front of, uh, in front of a better front uh, defensive line than, than the Packers have. But that Eric Kendricks, man, Lord Jesus. That Eric Kendricks in, in front of that line is huge. Just like Roquan Smith and Danny Trevathan in front of their lines is huge. But I feel like we stack up pretty well. Now, if you're not a fan of Jared Davis, I can understand your apprehensive. If you're not buying into the Jelani Tavai hype, I can understand it. But I just would like to warn, warn you about this. Having a good front makes it easier for the linebacker. Food for thought. Now we're getting off into one of the things that we just keep talking about, and that's that defensive line. At this point, we're more specifically talking about the nose tackles and D tackles. Now, we know that Hakeem Hicks is the real deal. There is no doubt that that man is a monster. Eddie Goldman, I think he benefits from having a, a Hakeem Hicks, much like how Sean Robertson benefits from having a Snacks Harris. Now, here's where this gets a little different. If you take out Eddie Goldman, and Hakeem Hicks and you put in Nickel Williams or Roy Robertson Harris, you ain't worried about those guys. But if you take out Ashawn Robertson and you take out Snacks and you put in Mike Daniels and Deshaun Hen, you're still worried. Now, Kenny Clark, we know what he brings to the table. He's a nose tackle. I mean, this is what you want, you know, and uh, Kingsley, Kiki, these are all known people. Good people. Linval Joseph, good people. But again, Shamar uh, Stevens is one of those guys that I think benefits from Linval Joseph. And once you start rotating them in, they have a good line of depth, but it's nobody that you can put, you know, fear in. We can rotate our dudes out and still get production from our backups at that defensive line. And that's that's a good thing. So I think we stack up pretty well compared to our division, you know, opponents. Now we're getting off into the defensive ends, and you will notice that there is no Packers here. There are no um, Vikings here, which I don't know. I mean, sorry, not Vikings. There are no Packers, and there are no Bears. And I think the reason for that is because of how they run their defenses as, as it is. Um, you know, the Packers is going to use uh, – a lot of mixing in between Zendaria Smith and Gary and and um, what's his name Lowry. They're gonna mix those little, those little things in the, the Bears. 
they have a lot of the Khalil Max and, and, and Floyds, and they can, they can play around with it. But I still think our defensive ends are okay. I still like the Vikings defensive group better in terms okay. of the defensive ends. I just think Everett Griffin and, and Hunter are just – man, they mean. Let's put it like that. So, I like that. But I do like Trey Flowers, and I do like Romeo Core as they work hand-in-hand in a unit with the rest of the defensive line. Um, so I'm not going to address the special teams. I mean, I mean, we got the best kicker. I mean, it is what it is. So I don't need to talk about the kicker in terms of kick and punt returners. I mean, there are some other teams with good kick and punt returners, but at the end of the day, I just wanted to kind of show you guys how our team stacked up against the, the division in terms of our 53 man roster. And, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. So do me a favor, hit that like subscribe button and the notification bell and make sure you subscribe to all the DSA members who channels are linked in the description. So all you got to do is click on that description tab down there and just click on any one of those and sub. Uh, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for now. Uh, and remember, don't be no chump. Please, please do your research.